Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel, and today we are going to have a closer look at the new Fall Winter Collection by Essence. I do these videos every six months when they do a little bit of a changeover. Catrice does them as well, in case you didn't know, Catrice and Essence are owned by the same company, so they are sister brands, and some of them are easier to get than in other places. I know Essence is a little bit easier uh, to get in most countries compared to Catrice, so people always like me doing these videos and seeing what's new. Essence isn't coming out with a whole lot of new stuff. There were two products on their website that I saw on there that I haven't been able to see in my shops anywhere yet, but I did want to get this video already out there because the changeover this time around is just not that big. So I just have uh, some face products, like some cheek products, and some eye products and then some lipsticks that I want to show you today. I've already done my base for that reason because there are no new base products in the line. So I've already taken the liberty to sort of make sure this situation is all ready to go. Let's just get to the first product that is new by Essence. So the first new product that I hadn't tried yet is the Super Last 24 Hour Eyebrow Pomade Pencil Waterproof. And this is like a twist up pencil, but it's a little bit thicker than your regular like thin pencil. So uh, I'm sh pretty sure that as this wears down, it may be a bit difficult to use. I have it in a lightest shade, which is called Blonde, which is okay. I haven't had the best luck with Essence eyeshadow pen or eyebrow pencils. I tried their Micro -pre Precision Brow Pencil last time. And as I had predicted, that ran out very quickly. So. This seems to be a little bit more stiff. It seems to be a little bit thicker in formula. So maybe that lasts a little bit better on my brow. So let's just apply this and see how it goes. So that's just the pencil and I quite like this effect. It is difficult to get a very fine, precise line. It's definitely a pencil that is best for filling things in. I'm gonna go over with my sturdy, firm favorite, Essence Make Me Brow to finish off the brows, and then I'll be right back. Now it's time for the cheeks, and Essence is coming out with these new contouring kits. Um, this is the one for lighter skin. There's also one for darker skin. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot darker than this one, though, I have to say. That is a bit of an issue with Essence, of course, that their shade, shade ranges just, just aren't inclusive, and in here, you get two shades, and I was hoping that one of these could be like a contour and one of them could be a bronzer. But when I swatch these, the lighter one is a little bit too light for it to be a bronzer on me right now. Um, because, you know, that's just, you can't even see it in the swatch. It's right here. <laughs> um, it's just, you know, my skin tone. So right now it pr would probably work at more as a setting powder. But I do like this shade here and I think that could be nice. As a bit of an all-over bronze so I'm going to be using the darker shade in this palette as a bit of an all-over bronze. So I quite like the effect that this gives. It is a very natural looking bronzer but it definitely gives a nice sort of glow to the face. It doesn't look very matte or flat which I appreciate and it does give a nice sort of sculpted look. It looks cool toned in the pan, but I feel that now that I have applied it, it doesn't look that cool toned on my face. It definitely works well as a very pale blonde bronzer on my fair skin, um, but if you're looking for a contour, this may be a bit too warm. Essence is also revamping their highlighter line, so they've now come out with these compacts. Um, this is just called the highlighter, and it comes in two shades. This is Heroic. The other one that they're doing is a little bit more golden toned. This seems to be more of like a champagne beige, which is a bit more up my street, which is why I went with this one. Uh, it seems to be quite high shine. The texture of this is quite thick. It's almost like that gel to powder kind of formula, uh, but not quite, of course, because, you know, it's essence, but it does feel like that. And look at that. So let me just apply this to my cheekbones. So that's the highlighter on the skin, and I have to say, I really like this. This very much reminds me of Nars's Fort de France, or the effect that you get with the Amrezi highlighter by ABH, but then at a drugstore price point, because these are super affordable, but it almost looks wet. Like, it does emphasize texture a little bit, but highlighter 
usually does that for me, but it has such a stunning shine from within kind of look to it. I really enjoy the look of this. So very surprised with this. Um, it was definitely just a couple of euros and to get that effect and it doesn't lay on the skin. It blends in super nicely. I'm very impressed with this. And then just like the highlighter, they are also revamping their blushes, which is a bit of a shame because as far as I can tell, they are also discontinuing their matte touch blushes. <clears throat> I can no longer find them on the website where I usually buy these products, even though on the Essence website they are still there. So maybe it's just like a temporary thing and they're out of stock, I'm not sure. Uh, but they are doing now the blush. So the other one's just the highlighter and this is now the blush. And again, this comes in two shades. I went with the more mauve pink shade. This is 10 Befitting. And this looks to be my kind of like this is my kind of shade for the fall time like i love these it's perhaps a little bit more berry than neutral than what i would normally go for but this can be very pretty on the cheeks it's a good basic blush i think this little blush is also a stunning look it's definitely a shade i already have a million times over in my collection but if you're still in the market for like a good affordable mauve berry tone blush that isn't too intense on the cheeks, then this may be a good one. Um, Essence blushes are some of the best at an affordable price point that you, that you can possibly find, so I do really like the look of this. And now we're already moving on to eyes, because that, that was it. That's all the new stuff Essence has for cheeks. There are no liquid products, no creams, no nothing, no base products. I was very surprised, because Catrice had a huge overhaul and there were lots of stuff. There was more than I could fit into one video. And with Essence, I actually like bought stuff that was already out, but that I hadn't tried yet because there wasn't enough. <laughs> um, they are coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. This is the Crystal Power eyeshadow palette. This packaging I've also seen on the Essence website as it being a blush and highlight palette. But as far as I can tell, that's not out yet. It comes with nine shades. This is what they look like. You only get one matte. And then you get shimmers. And I'll, I'll just swatch these for you. Because I wasn't very impressed. So that's the first shade. Like these have a nice shine to them. But they're just a bit sheer and like look at that green it's like barely there like these have so much shine to them and not that much base pigment um this blue one which is this is ooh, this blue one looks really nice in the pan but i felt that when i swatched it it's very thin the matte does look nice and there's also like a nice peachy gold in here so i feel that those two shades are okay that's the blue, that's the matte, and that's that peachy shade. Like, those two are okay, but those first four, they're just a bit lackluster. Maybe they foil well, who knows? Um, and then we still have a couple of, like, berries and a nice, like, whitish champagne. But, you know, again, that doesn't look very, wow. That's a stunning shimmer. So, let me see. So, it's just, it's a lot of shine, not a lot of bag pigment. So, I, I also, I'm afraid that these might just like fluff away into nothing. So, I'm gonna go and do an eye look with this, but I am going to bring in something else that I know will pack a punch because the swatch on this was lovely. This is the Meltachrome eyeshadow in Steel the Look. And this is something they've been doing for a while, but I don't really reach for singles in a pot all that much. So I was like, ah, do I really want to get them? And then someone left a comment saying, you should really try the Metal Chrome eyeshadows by Essence. And If you compare that to what I was just swatching, I'm just saying, right? Um, so if I swatch that right here, hello. It does have a really strong sort of like gray pigment to it, to its base. So that does mean that if the light doesn't catch it, it can look a bit dark. 
but this is like that gel to powder sort of texture that is really lovely. Yeah, we'll just throw a look together. So that's the eye look. I put this silver in the inner corner, as I said, and I decided to try one of the colors that I was a bit disappointed in when I swatched it. So I put the green on the lower lash line and with a smudger brush, it worked okay. It does peck a punch. Uh, it definitely has enough pigmentation to make that look nice. I have to say that these three shades, which also swatched the best, those went on really nicely. I really like this, which is what I have all over my lid. And I tried to use this shade a little bit at the bottom to blend out the top and sort of have a bit of a sheen on the brow bone, which, which is not something I tend to do a lot anymore, but I do think that looks pretty. So I definitely still need to make sure I do another look with this to put in, you know, to try out the other shades as well before I give my final thoughts. These shadows may work a little bit better when you pack them on with a, sh uh, with a brush or maybe also when you foil them, but the way I feel about it right now with just one matte, which is very warm toned, um, there isn't a whole lot I feel that this palette can do. So I'm a bit disappointed in this one, to be quite honest. So now we need to go to mascara and I waited with the new line being changed around until purchasing this. This is the waterproof version of the Lash Princess uh, mascara. The green tube, the one with the green lettering and all that is one of my favorite. Drugstore mascara, so I definitely wanted to try the waterproof version as well. So this will be the first time I'm putting this on, so uh, we'll see how this goes. So the brush does look different. So that's the effect that the mascara gives, which is quite natural. I usually use waterproof mascaras to top off other more volumizing mascaras because that's what I prefer. Um, so I will not be using this on its own, but it will definitely, when I change up my mascara routine, I will definitely be using this as like a layering thing because it does look nice, but on its own, I don't think it really wows me all that much. And then we have lipsticks. Now these were also already released a few months ago, I think, but I wasn't really interested in them, but then I saw how little Essence had coming out. And one of you, uh, Petra, uh, in the comments, Petra, she has been saying, oh, you need to try the This Is Me nude lipsticks because they are lovely. There are eight of them, so I decided to get all eight. I am going to be doing a separate video with these, like I have been doing with some of the new Catrice lipsticks that have been coming out. I wanna do a separate video in which I review these and watch I swatch these, um, do the whole nine yards. So right now I'm just going to pick one. Uh, and I think, yeah, I'm gonna go with number zero six, um, real. And this is like a reddish tone nude because I feel that this can use a little bit of darkness, especially since we're going into fall. This feels really creamy, a lot better than other Essence lipsticks that I've tried. Um, a lot of Essence lipsticks I find really feel very thin and very drying, but this feels nice and rich and creamy, so that's nice. But these have a very strange smell. It's like a sour smell, but it actually reminds me of medicine that I had when I was a kid. I do really like these little white with gold tubes. I think they did a nice job. As I mentioned, there are eight shades in this line and I will be showing all of them in a separate video in like a couple of weeks time. But that's not everything I have in this video for you because maybe you've seen it on my socials, maybe you haven't, but my blog just celebrated its ninth year anniversary. So I always like to do a little giveaway every year around the time that my blog has been around for another year. And if you see my subscriber count, that you can tell that I'm very, very close to hitting 2000 subscribers as well. So I figured, why not do a little giveaway? So I'm running it over on my blog mostly. So if you wanna enter, you need to enter over there because then I will have 
your email address at the same time and I will be able to contact you, which is a bit more difficult here on YouTube. However, I do want to show you the products here and if you do leave a comment on on this video, it will count as an extra entry. So I'm going to be posting a link to the blog post so that you can find the giveaway and where it is. It's just going to be the corresponding blog post to this video. I've coupled together what I think is a really nice little package of Essence and Catrice products. So there's nearly a full face here and I will be giving it away to one lucky winner. Before we get to the actual products, I do want to say that all of these products are 100% fresh. They haven't been opened and I paid for all of this with my own money. So I'm going to be giving away my favorite two primers by Catrice, the Fresh It Up Hydrating Primer. This is very similar to the Smashbox Primerizer. I also really like the Catrice Eye Foundation. This is their eyeshadow primer and this is one of the best, very affordable eyeshadow primers that I've tried. I also want to give away one of the Catrice Multi-Talent Prime and Fine Sprix Fixing Sprays. This is a cult favorite. It's a fixing spray that does run out quite quickly, but it is one of my favorites. It's as good as the All Nighter. Another base product I want to give away is the Nude Illusion Loose Powder by Catrice. This is a transparent powder, so I think a lot of people with different complexions might be using, might be able to use this. And this is one of my favorite loose powders on the market, you guys. I also wanted to throw in something limited edition that by now may be very hard to get. I love these little jar-like things, like this looks so luxurious, and I thought that that would be a good one to add in this giveaway. Um, I'm also giving away some color products. I'm giving away one of the new Catrice Blush Box Glowing Multicolor Blushes. This is in the shade Dolce Vita, which is a really nice peach. But to make sure, I also throw in a berry, because that's my favorite. I was able to track down the last matte touch blush that I could find at my local drugstore uh, in the shade Bury Me Up. This is my favorite Essence blush. My current favorite bronzer that I've been using by Catrice and the first bronzer by Catrice I really like is the Clean ID Mineral Bronzer that they are doing. I did pick it up in a darker shade, so this is medium dark. I also wanted to make sure to throw in this. This is the Luminize Highlighter Palette by Catrice. It has like a NARS Orgasm kind of shade and then two really pretty uh, highlighters. Of course, I cannot do a giveaway of Essence and Catrice products without throw, throwing in my favorite brow gel. I used it today in this video as well, the Make Me Brow. Also going to be giving away my favorite mascara combo, the Waterproof Glam and Doll Mascara by Catrice, as well as the green Essence Lash Princess. Also a recent release by Catrice that I wanted to throw in here. I just reviewed this over my blog and I'm very impressed with the eyeshadows in this little palette. This is the Crystallized Rose Quartz Eyeshadow Palette and this is what it looks like. And I also want to give away my two favorite lipsticks by Catrice. The Power Plumping Gel Lipstick in 030 Speak Up. You see me wearing this in every single video, so it had to be featured. And I also want to give away Rouge La La from their new Demi Matte line. In total, apart from foundation and concealer, there's an entire face of products here. One person will be, uh, will be able to win this. The giveaway is open internationally. Link down below on how to enter. So there we go. Um, with that being said, I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please enter my giveaway if you'd like to win these products. I hope you like them. And yeah, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I will definitely do that Essence This Is Me nude lipstick sort of video that's coming up. I also want to do an update of the new Catrice products that I've been trying and sort of giving you the lowdown on that. So there's lots of stuff coming your way on these two brands. So stay tuned. I hope to see my next video. Bye!